Hey guys, it's Maddie from Let's Eat Plants, and obviously I'm not standing in the kitchen right now. I am actually at my workstation working on a video that I recorded yesterday for this cauliflower roast that I have been dying to make. And I just realized that the first half of the video did not get recorded. So I am going to re-record this intro right now for you. I do want to show you this recipe because it is something that I've been wanting to make for so long. It's a very beautiful recipe and I thought you guys should know how it turned out. So this recipe is from Carissa's Vegan Kitchen and of course I will link that original recipe in the description box down below. And let me just tell you quickly how I came across this recipe. So I believe it was last year or the year before Everybody in the Forks Over Knives Facebook group was making this recipe. And not only making it, but raving about it. I swear I saw so many people post that they made it and they loved it and it was like one of the best things they'd ever made or tried. And I'm like, with an endorsement like that, I would be crazy not to make this recipe. So finally this year, I am getting around to making it. And I was really excited to make it because it looks like such a beautiful centerpiece dish. Like if you're looking for something for the holidays to replace your traditional meat centerpiece, I was hoping that this would be perfect perfect for that because it's just such a beautiful presentation. In addition, it's a really healthy recipe. It's basically just a cauliflower, potatoes and carrots, and then this delicious looking gravy sauce that you spread all over everything. Speaking of the gravy, basically everybody who made this dish also recommended to double the gravy. So I wanted to do that as well to make sure there was enough of the delicious gravy goodness to go all over the cauliflower and all over the potatoes and carrots. So the most labor intensive part of this recipe is making the gravy and honestly, it wasn't that difficult. The rest is just chopping and then placing the cauliflower and potatoes and carrots into the baking dish and then pouring that delicious gravy all over everything. And then of course at the end, you will see my review. I was able to capture that part on film. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now the recipe says don't overcrowd the dish with your carrots and potatoes. I don't know if that's overcrowded or not, but it looks okay to me. I also have this leftover, like half of an onion from the gravy. So I'm just going to pop this into the carrot and potato mixture as well, since, you know, why not to give it a little extra flavor. Okay, and now the recipe says to pour a half a cup of broth under the veggies to help them steam while they're cooking. And then the last thing we have to do is to ladle in our gravy. Now you want about a third to a half a cup inside the cauliflower. So you're gonna turn over your cauliflower and ladle it directly into your cauliflower. Oh yes, 
The gravy is looking good. And now we want some of the gravy directly onto the carrot, potato, and in my case, onion mixture. Okay, we have got a gravy-licious cauliflower and gravy-licious potato carrot mixture. So let's put some foil on this and pop it in the oven. I do have a little bit of gravy left over in my pot. Halfway through the cook time, you're gonna wanna uncover it, brush it with some more gravy, and then pop it back in. So I do have some gravy left over for that and maybe even <laughs> a little extra on the side. Okay, our roast is ready. It is like pitch black outside. It feels like it's really late, but it's actually only 5.30. You know, winter, it gets dark really early. So I hope this looks okay in this lighting. It smells amazing right now. So let's go ahead and try this roast. Tastes like cauliflower. <laughs> it's good but I'm not as blown away as I thought I was going to be. It basically tastes like vegetables in a gravy sauce, which I guess is to be expected. I don't know why I thought that it was going to be like mind-blowingly different, but it essentially tastes like a side of roasted veggies in a really delicious gravy. It's not bad, it's just not quite as mind-blowing as I was expecting which may just be me. It may just be that my expectations were really, really high for this. I do think that the overall presentation is really nice, but I don't think that a lot of meat eaters would be very impressed by this dish. It tastes like vegetables, very delicious vegetables, but still like vegetables. So if you're expecting anything other than that, you will be disappointed. Do make it, it's a delicious roast. It would even be delicious just to have a bunch of veggies chopped up with this gravy on it. And if you go into it thinking this is gonna be a delicious side dish of vegetables with a delicious gravy, I think you'll be very pleased with the results. So anyway, I am glad that I finally made it and finally tried this legendary recipe. Of course, I will leave the original recipe in the description box down below. And if you're looking for any other holiday recipes, I will leave that in a playlist on the screen for you guys to watch after this video. And of course, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and making new videos every week. Mostly healthy, but for sure, always vegan. And with that, let's eat plants and I will see you guys next time.